it's Lena and today we're going to be making a um, tea bag I guess little gift it's a little holder and what it does is it's two pockets that fits two tea bags I saw this um, made by another youtuber but I can't remember and I can't find the video so um, that's okay um, I've been ha I've had it in my mind for a while so I just kind of made up my own measurements and I'm not sure if they're the same measurements as the other person who did it but this is my own um, take on it so I thought it was super cute so what I have here is a piece of designer cardstock and it measures um, seven inches uh, wide by five inches tall and I've already pre-scored it but it's pre-scored um, at a quarter inch and quarter inch on the both the left and the right and then an inch and a half from the bottom and then in the center where you were going to create our gusset is um, scored at three and three eighths and at three and five eighths so I'm just going to go ahead and I've already scored it so I'm just going to crease it with you otherwise this would have just taken far too long and one there okay so I folded those two and now we're just going to fold You can see it's already kind of starting to take shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put score tape on this bottom ledge here and then fold it upwards. I love score tape. It just holds everything in place. So we'll do this side here. If I can get the tape up. Okay. So then as you can see the two, um, there's tape there. I'm just going to fold it up. We'll glue that down. We'll glue that down. And now you can see the actual um, form of it and it's taken shape. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I have a piece of Velcro here that I've cut down to just kind of fit on this groove here. So um, for the first one, I'm just going to Stick that down right about there. And for the second piece, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit it on top of this piece, Velcro side together. And then just so I have it in the proper um, place, I'm just going to fold this little guy up and there. So I'll get rid of that. So now, as you can see, the Velcro is in the right place. Now I have this piece of organza ribbon and it's in that, in this kind of greeny mossy kind of tone. And what I'm going to do is just put some glue at the end here, some hot glue. Okay. I'm going to put some on the gusset here. And lastly, I'm going to put some here. Okay, so that's a that's really cute. Okay, so next, what I what I'm going to do is I've cut out these panels here, and what I'm going to do is stick them on top of the plaid paper, and these are cut and they measure. Um, three and five sixteenths uh, by two and thirteen sixteenths. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue runner and I'm just going to add some glue. And this is going to be my front page here. So it's easier to work with. Okay, and I'm just going to um, place it in the center there. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing with the other one. So, okay, 
Okay. So that's what it that's what it looks like. I made this little teapot. All I did was I, I drew it out and I just paper pieced. And then what I did, I'm not sure if you guys can tell there, I um, added glossy accents and then I heated the glossy accents. And this kind of made a bubble and Romeo, cut it out. Put it up here. Good boy, sit down. What this did um, by heating it is it made a bubble and kind of crack and stuff. And I kind of like the effect of it. It kind of um, reminds me of like cracked porcelain or something um but that's what I did so I've got this teapot that I plan on pop dotting in the corner there okay so I'm just going to remove the sticky back Let's try this again. So I like that stuck down that way. Okay. So maybe I should be working this way so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. So and next what I have are some roses that I've um, misted with my uh, glimmer, my homemade, my dupe, my glimmer mist, and I'm just going to add some roses and these ones were actually red and what I did is I painted them with some metallic paint and then I sprayed them with the glimmer spray and it made them a different shade of purple still very super cute and it's gonna be nice to have that contrast so what we're gonna do is I think I'll put one in the corner here done is I've made these leaves and then I've sprayed them with a uh, greeny gold glimmer mist spritz. I'm using my hot glue gun just because it's just so easy <laughs> to use a hot glue gun. Take another one and put him there. Okay. Oh, my glue gun is dripping. to add some butterflies and I cut them out in a pearlized paper and I just distressed the edges with some antique linen so I'm gonna put some I'm using mono tombow um, and I'm just putting some glue down and I'm gonna bend them up a bit Another one here. I'm not, not putting a whole lot of glue down. I just put um, a tiny bit Let's do a purple one. I was cutting them on I couldn't decide so I cut out both but Does that ever happen to you guys? You push something down and it doesn't actually stick on the paper, it sticks on your finger. Okay, and lastly, okay, awesome. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this green crystal here that I have and I'm just going to put it in the center 
of these butterflies. The small butterflies will get the smallest of the crystal. So far, so good. I think it needs another leaf right in the corner there. So what I'm going to do is just okay. Let's get rid of some of this mess here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to. up the edges of the butterfly a bit. Give someone some space in this guy. So it kind of looks like they're fluttering. So, okay. Okay, so now I think I'll make a stick pin. And so I've got a pin here. Just a plain florist pin. Okay. And let's see. What can we add? This is my some of my jewelry making um, beads right here. No, I don't like that. Okay. Okay, so that's what our stick pin looks like. It's oh, it's just a Everything's in the way today. It's just a um, pearl um, corsage pin with a few bead caps and some purple Swarovski crystal. And then in the center here, I have a mauve uh, Swarovski pearl. And then just at the bottom, just to finish it uh, with the hot glue, I just added a four millimeter um, Swarovski bicone. And that's pretty much it. And so I think we'll stick him there. Yeah, I like the way that looks. Okay, so let's open this up. We'll put our tea bags inside. So I chose I Love Lemon just because it had some purple on it. I try to match the tea bags to um, the craft. So see how they sit in there? This is really cute. Okay, so we have our Velcro. We're going to close that shut. We're going to close it shut. We're going to tie a cute little bow. And my puppy is playing because that's all he does. He refuses to learn tricks. But he plays all day. <laughs> He's trying to get... <gasps> hey! No one wants to hear you bark. I want to add another rose. Changed my mind. Right up in there. There. I think now we're finished. <laughs> okay, guys. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed watching. Excuse me. Um, this was a ton of fun to make, and I think it's super cute. Um, you know, you can customize this any way you'd like. You don't even have to put the front panels on it, but I thought I would. And anyone would be happy to receive something like this, especially if they're not feeling well and you kind of just want to make them feel a little better. Um, I think this would definitely help. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll talk to you next time. Take care, guys.